It's time to laugh. Welcome to the A to Z Comedy Tour. This is a Daryl Gregg production. Filmed live in Los Angeles, California. Let's get started. Wait a minute, before we get started, let's have a 30 seconds of fame. Which comedian played a role on Happy Days and got discovered to be one of the funniest comedians? After Happy Days, he landed his own sitcom, Mork and Mindy, that aired 1978 through 1982. He also played in over 60 movies. Was it one, Eddie Murphy? Two, Robin Williams? Three, Andrew Dice Clay, or four, Steve Martin. We'll have the answer for you after these messages. The all new reality show. We gotta make this thing work. The A to Z comedy tour. Tour is gonna run on jokes. A man with a vision, bringing the funniest comedy the together. You can't get off stage. We gave you a show day. I got a big favor I need to ask you. It's the A to Z comedy too. It goes down. And if you chose Robin Williams, your answer is correct. Now let's get back to the show. I just I landed. Just landed. Into Los Angeles from Rockville, Illinois. I'm just sitting here thinking as I'm driving to the hotel. What an amazing journey that I've been on with the A to Z comedy tour. Who'd have thought coming from a small town that I could do such a thing? So I jumped out my Uber. Dexter was supposed to pick me up. So I'm sitting here waiting. Ten minutes passed by. 30 minutes passed by, no show. So I headed to my room. So here I am in my room, sitting down and knowing that my name is on the line. I want to show Los Angeles that I am the best promoter in the world. Am I ready for Los Angeles? Is Los Angeles ready for me? I guess I'll go to bed, head to sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back after these messages. A to Z Comedy Tour Red Carpet. Praise the Lord, I'm your girl, Elisa Ambassador. Elisa is my radio name on KKLA 99.5 and K-Praise. I am here on the A to Z Comedy Tour with... Daryl Greg, how you doing? I am doing fabulous. How you doing? I'm wonderful. I understand we got T. Lily here tonight. Yeah, we have a lot of fabulous friends of mine that's coming out all across the country. This is the A to Z Comedy Tour, and this is pretty big. You know, it's a pretty big event. I got uh, Keith Look Around Morris. I got Ramona Stevenson. I got a lot of different people that's going to be entertaining tonight. This is like been like a dream to come true. To make let me let me ask you this: How long have you been doing these tours? Well, uh, well, first of all, let me explain. I've been entertaining ever since I've been 15 years old. So I've been touring, I guess, when I first started the whole tour. But now I'm just in a whole different point in my life to doing something. I've been in Los Angeles for about, i say, about a year now. So uh, I did a couple shows for Punch TV. And then I went out and started doing some of my own shows. So I did started with the A to Z comedy tour because there were so many comics that needed to have representation. So I decided to come up with the A to Z Comedy Tour and we've been doing a lot of shows all over the place. What can we expect tonight? Well, you can expect a lot of laughing. You can expect a lot of people, because I, I picked all the best people from the whole LA market, you know what I'm saying? They've been on Comic View, they've been on Def Comedy Jam. They've been in a lot of different shows. They have been in a lot of different shows. So this is what you expect to get. You're gonna get the funny, you're gonna get everything tonight. This is Daryl Gregg, A to Z Comedy Tour. We checking in, we checking out. And that's how you do it. A to Z Comedy Tour, laugh hard, let the show begin. See her ugly ass. 
You know what I'm saying? The early girl, she always be standing out front like, here you go, how you doing? I'm right here picking me. No, no. I don't see your ass. But one thing, but one thing I'm gonna tell you, man, the pretty girl knew how to hide. You know what I'm saying? Cause you couldn't find her ass at like seven o'clock at night when she's trying to go home. It's time to play hide and go get it. She ain't getting caught. Y'all know that shit. Pretty girl, where you at, pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl? Shut your ass up. <laughs> Damn. You just be on some bullshit. <laughs> what am I doing? I feel like this next performer will really shock yourself. So, this guy is, is beautiful, man. He's a, he's a magic man. King and magic man, I'm bringing to the stage right now. Put your hands around for King and magic man right now. Put your hands here right now for GT, yo. GC, give it up right now. I love animals, people. I love animals. Yeah, so that's why after high school, I got a job at the LA Zoo. That's where I mastered, honed, and perfected my famous bird call. Birds be like, you have an accent, where are you from? I was like, I have an accent? I have an accent? Even birds be saying borderline racist shit. You have an accent. Fucking horrible, man. I grew up in a predominantly pigeon neighborhood. I could have walked down the street eating my popcorn without being harassed, beat, pecked, bullied. I felt like I was in a movie, Birds. It's horrible. It's horrible, man. I got the, I got the fuck out of there. I got the fuck out of there, people. I went to, I went, but I didn't want to forget where I'm from. I got the fuck, but I didn't want to forget where I'm from. You know what I mean? I went, when I got the fuck out of there, I, w I went to Santa Monica Beach. Yeah. I was basking under the sun, getting sunspots, only to get surrounded by a mob of seagulls. They wanted my potato chips. And then they came in for the bag. I was like, what? What? So I was like, ah, 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 ah. You know what the seagull said? You sound like an old crow.
All right, all right, it's hold Mr. Up, C. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> all right, it's Mr. C. The Enforcer, aka Poppy, call it a bad boy, the skit bags, bad man at the A to Z comedy tour with my man Daryl Gray. Hey, 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 what's going on? And Boo Bear Robbie Milan. Hey, what's happening? And we got two of the best talents out in Los Angeles right now, the man who sets it up and the girl who knocks him down. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's her. That's her. That's what she do, man. So, that's what I do. So, Daryl, you like uh, Puerto Rican sisters? Well, listen here. My son just graduated, and he's Puerto Rican. So, you know what oh. I'm saying? So, I mean, I love, you know what I'm saying? I am like Jesse Jackson, the Rainbow Coalition. You know what I'm mm. saying? You know, Operation Push On, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Why should you discriminate? That's right. But wait a minute. Okay. I'm racist. I hate everybody equally. That's right. A human racist. Uh, but he liked that black Latina, though. It is. That part. Well, hold up, hold up now. Don't, don't, don't do me like that. You know what I'm saying? We got all the viewers here. You talking about, hey, of course I do, girl. Shit, I would like, I would step over the line, but I ain't going to step on over the line. I'm that's just, right. That's, that's right. what I don't want you to do. That's bro. right. We don't want to get security hype up in here, though. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? There's a big white guy over but there. But I think he got a preference, y'all. I think he got a preference. What do you think his preference is? I think he liked the black Latinas. He liked that exotic and erotic. Ooh, black Tinas. Oh, ah. We're not talking about sex today. We're talking about the A to Z comedy tour. We don't want to get all the way off the off the Richter scale. We just really want to know what you're gonna do tonight. Tell, oh, tell the people what you're gonna do. I'm about to shut it down, baby. They ain't ready. They ain't ready for all of this right here. See, I do that grown and sexy, right? Here. You hear that? You hear that? Grown and sexy. I heard it. I heard it. Well, I heard it down See, here. Hey, I'm sweating, man. Yeah, that's all right. No, that's the sweat. That's just. That's what I want you to do is sweat. Hey, right, listen here. I didn't know we was going to do this, but you know what I'm saying? Tell the people where you're from. Tell them really what you do. I mean, I, I done seen you all over the place, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's why Dwight picked you, D Bell picked you to be on Agency Comedy Tour. I'm the only Tour. girl, too, by the way. And uh, D Bell picked you because he told me you was like one of the greatest comedians, females, that he ever seen before. That's so sweet of him. I and, appreciate um, the love. We wanted to bring you on the A to Z comedy tour because D Bell been working with us for quite some time and, mm -hmm. and he said you was like, you know, A1 when it comes to really delivering on the stage. So tell the people what, what you got for them. Okay, well, my name is Robbie Milan. I call myself Robbie motherfucking Milan, okay? And what y'all not is, is ready for all of this sexy right here. I'm in my late 40s. I'm proud. I raised my daughter by myself. No child support. No county checks. I did it, okay? And you too. You can do it too, boo. That's what I'm talking about, because we all about black girl magic That's at right. the A to Z comedy can we, tour. Can we get D -Bell, D -Bell. About 30 seconds of fame. Steve Martin. His first job was at Disneyland as he sold guidebooks on the weekend. He also was a contestant on Dating Game. He quit stand up in 1981 and went right on to the big screen. He played in The Jerk, Pink Panther, Three Amigos, and also The Muppet Show, just to name a few. He also hosted Saturday Night Live. And brother, Sugarfoot. And you know what? I'm, I'm natural up on all this hair. And these lights got me hiding the mug right now. I think I'm having a hot flash. Anybody else having hot flashes? Clap if you have hot flashes. Woo! Mine start from my feet all the way up. I be feeling like I got the Holy Ghost. That don't make no sense. I'm gonna, you know what? I used to think my mom was lying. I think she was, she was wanting some attention. This is some real stuff. High flat. Sirs, men out there, if you got a woman with a high flat, I just need you to get some ice and a, and a fan. And just be ready. Put the ice inside and put the fan on top. Y'all ever do that? Put some ice inside your vajigi? It's just me? Cool your whole body out. Cool your whole, these is tricks. These is, these is tips for the single women that's got going on with the menopause. Because if you, it'd be okay if I had a man at home, I wake up wet. <laughs> yes, honey. But I'm celibate. Anybody else celibate out here? You just gonna talk right here in front of me. You just, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, uh huh. You just gonna talk right here in front of me. <laughs> Anybody else out here celibate? I, I didn't say celebrate, I said celibate. Because I'm scared of dead. Service and I'm scared of that. I'm heterosexual as hell. If you look in the you look in the dictionary, you'll see me talking about. Oh, I love dick, but I'm scared. Because some of y'all out here sneaking with men. 
Yes, I said it, elbow bit it, minute, ain't gonna put my foot back in it. Some of y'all out here sleeping with men. Then you're going home, talking about, hey, baby, how you doing? You know you're the only one for me. But the other day, he was on this, hey, Tyrone, how you doing? Hey, how two big old grown men gonna be sitting up there jacking each other out? What is that about? Ain't nothing cute about that. And I'm not homophobic. If you gay, that's your business. But leave me alone, uh, women in the club. I was at the, in the club the other day just dancing by myself like I do before I go to work because I work graveyard. And I was just wanting to get my shake on, you know, burn a little calories. Now they gonna come up to me and tell me, hi. I said, hey, hold on. I ain't gay. She said, oh, you don't have to be gay to dance with me. I said, yes, sir. I do. Back them titties up. Ain't nothing on you I want, lady. Shoot, it's still women just like dick. And I want out. And, and I mean, when I say dick, dick only. You know, I ain't never been that kind of hurt that made me want to go see what Tamika feel like. I ain't never felt that kind of pain that made me want to see what Stephanie do. I'm just saying. Plus, let me tell y'all something. I don't even like half y'all anyway. Females get on my nerve, especially black women. I don't know what, I love y'all, the ones that's, that's positive and, and, and got high self-esteem about yourself and want to uplift, I love y'all. But these, these backstabbing, insecure heifers, where your daddy at? Because he ain't love on you. Something's wrong with you. I had a woman go ask me one day, you like my man, don't you? I said, girl, no. That's one thing about me. Are you... I'm the most sensitive, loving woman. I would never try to do anything if I know that's your man. That's just not my get that. You know, my mom and dad taught me right. So, but you need to be watching some of your friends. Because if, or matter of fact, you might need to look at the person in the mirror. Because if you worry about what he doing, maybe you the one with doing it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody out here cheating and can't you know? I was married 15 years, found out my husband had a whole family on the side. For 10 years, he had a whole family. I was cold until I found out he bought her a Yorkie and bought me a great thing. <laughs> Don't I look like I like a little dog? What the hell I want Scooby Doo for? I don't know, Scooby Doo. That's my time, you guys. Thank y'all. Now, a scene from the A to Z Comedy Tour reality show. I was raised in uh, Los Angeles, South Central, you know, uh, 94th in Maine in the real hard part of Los Angeles. So uh, early in, in my young age, I kind of got a debt, uh, got a, uh, introduced to crime at a young age. So I became a drug dealer and a gang banger and uh, got caught up in the whole life of just criminal activity. And uh, got arrested again at 22, where I got busted with 40 gallons of PCP and uh, attempted murder robbery. And that got me my life sentence. And that's where uh, this light, my story took a whole nother turn. When I was in prison, I always knew it was funny. So I, when I came home, I knew I needed something. So I decided to be a stand-up comedian and just to show you how life works out, the minute I made them choice and decision, a buddy of mine met Sunda Kuncrest, who, who has the LA School of Comedy, and introduced me to her. And I went down there for open mic, and, and being a comic has changed my life for the best. But uh, with that being said, uh, I went to prison and uh, made some changes in my life, and here I am today. How y'all doing? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just got the phone with uh, Daryl Gray. He's gonna come out and uh, come check us out. He wanna be a part of his comedy tour for my birthday. He's trying to link me on in, play on my emotions. Oh, I know it's my birthday, and he, he coming on out, he trying to play on my emotions to get me to come out. But I'm gonna come on out for him, have a good time. You know, cause uh, Daryl Greg's a good dude, man. And uh, it's my birthday, like I said, and we gonna be at the zoo lounge. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, how much he paying you? Well, we ain't talking about pay yet, but I'm gonna need some money. He got to know he got to pay me for shit. I'm struggling to meet him. Cause now I need to make sure I get my hat. Half my. Uh -huh. Yeah, what's yours is mine. I think I, I think I might have made a mistake. I'm gonna need a divorce real soon before I get some real money because I can't give you half my shit. I'm out.
I already got half. So what you talking about? That's what I'm gonna get out now. Well, I ain't no. got no money. I can give you half for three dollars. I got. I give you one fifty five. No, 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 no. I'm gonna need a divorce after this one because I see you. You just want me for my money. I thought this was about love. I was there before the money. What are you talking about? But you have you know the potential that I had to get the money. Yeah, I know. We both doing this together. Oh, Daryl girl, girl come over to my house. We're gonna perform at the A to Z comedy tour. Let me see what he got to say, man. Man, what's going on with you, man? Shoot, man. Oh, Good nothing. to see you, man. You know, uh, Reggie, see what you talking about with this tour thing, man. Get this, you know, up and running, man. See what we got going on with this. Well, man, listen. You I want got... something to drink? You good? Uh, man, I, I guess I'll take a shot, man. Right. I really don't drink while I'm working, man, but hey, don't tell nobody, you know? I get your shot. I get your shot. Give me a shot, man. Shit. That's cool. All right, man. So, man, I don't want to drink too much, man. Let's get a shot. Today's Z too. Ooh, boy, that's strong. That's strong. That's good yak. Boy. That's good yak. Boy, boy, boy. This is that stuff yeah. my grandfather used to drink. This stuff put hell on your chest, yeah. Yeah. Right I got the show coming up at the Liquid Zoo. I really want to. You know what I'm saying? The people to come out and check you out for your birthday, man. I'm out, man. You got my, I appreciate that, man. I'm gonna come on out, man, and do my best. I appreciate you thinking about me on my birthday. And it's my first official birthday party. Yeah. At, in 23 years of being home in prison, so yes. Well, that's major, man. Yeah, that's major. And you know, we wanna be a part of that, man. We wanna make sure that all the comics is just gonna come out, support you. That's what's up, that's what we gonna do then. So you ready to make it happen? I'm ready to make it happen, man. That's okay, well, let's do it, man. Let's do it, cheers. Hey. Energy coming to her, Energy coming to her. That's right, can't be stopped. All right, let's do it. All right, all right. So once again, it's Mr. CD and Force. We at the A to Z comedy tour. You see it right here on the shirt. I got my man Stacy right here, the host for the evening. Tell him what it's all about, Stace. Well, you know, the ADC Comedy Tour is about a bunch of people coming together, you know, making funnies, you know what I mean? Moving around, bringing the funnies everywhere we go, and a bunch of different diverse comedians, not just the same old comics, you know, with the same old stick. We got comedians from all different kind of walks of life, like myself, fresh out of prison, did 23 years, had a life sentence, now I'm back. I've been doing comedy for two and a half years, and opened up for Mike Epps and Cat Williams and Sherry Shepard and Chris Spencer and... You know, let's continue to move on down the line. So the A to Z is a real comedy tour with some real comedians, and we're making real headwaves out here now. That's right. Stacey Taylor killing the game fresh out the bing. That's what I'm talking about, and this is what America is all about. Coming from the bottom, rising to the top, and making last while you do it. That's right. How long you been involved with the comedy tour, by the way? I've been involved with the comedy tour for almost about a year and a half now. About a year and a half. Yeah, about a year and a half. And how long you been doing comedy? Well, I, shit, I only been home two and a half years, so shit. I've been doing comedy about two years now, shit. And that's the kind of that's growth it. you got, you yes, know what sir, I'm saying? Sir. It's like the Wakanda of comedy up in here. Great food, great music, pretty ladies. Pretty ladies. You got to like that at the A to Z comedy tour. Right. And you know, coming up soon, we actually got the man that sets all this stuff up right now. The Stacy Rolls with tight, Mr. Daryl Gregg, the godson. Hey, what's oh, going on, man? What's up, my man? How y'all doing good tonight? Good. How you all right, doing? right, man. It's a great show on the way tonight. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited, man. I got my man Stacy here. He getting ready to host the show. I mean, this is like a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? I waited 22 years. Three hours and 30 <laughs> seconds for this man to get yes, here, sir, you know yes, what I'm saying? Because yes, he's a real funny guy. Yeah. And, you know, he's been working the scene for a long time in, in Hollywood. And, I mean, this man here has really been putting in a lot of work and opened up for Mike Epps, you know, opened up for Cat Williams. This man has just been doing a, a tremendous lot of work in the community in Hollywood, really just making people know who he is, you know, just to come out and just be popping like that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So I want to thank you, Stacy, for hosting the show for tonight, man. Thank you. All. all right. All right. I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish up with him because I got some things to do. I see you guys in a minute. A to Z Comedy Tour. A to Z Comedy Tour. A to Z, yeah. baby. The man is busy, 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 working, working, working outside, smacking hoes and pimping dudes. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work all at the A to Z right. Comedy yes, Tour, sir. ain't it? Ain't yes, it? Ain't sir. it? Yes, That's all right. Hard work. That's right. We got my man right here. He probably gonna give Daryl a case of cigarettes for something later. Oh uh, yeah. But don't you worry. I'm gonna charge him. You know what I'm saying? Cigarettes is money around here. So I'm going to need all my packs when right. I leave about this my right. Oh, we're going to have a problem. Right. Hey, yes, is there a comedian you're excited to see tonight? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see all the comedians here tonight. But my boy Andre Bailey and, and Sherwin is some of my, my partners. You know, I, I got a real connection with them. And they fucking funny and hilarious, man. So 
Them dudes are going to light this motherfucker up, man, for real. Believe that. Nice, nice. And so what's going on with you next, Stace, besides this? I know you got a lot going on. Oh, you yeah, popping and fire. This shirt looks good. Shirt you got to do something popping. Yes, what's going sir. on with you in the future? Well, I'm at the J-Spot on the uh, the 15th of this month. Me and my girl Tawanda, she's my co-host. I got my every Thursday spot on Imperial and Western, uh, 1827 uh, West uh, Imperial Highway. Every Thursday night, it's open mic. If any comedians want to get on, get down there, you know, practice on your craft. It's a nice room. We have a nice little laugh. So come on down. And other than that, I'm just moving all around. I got a bunch of shows. I'm at the, uh, I'm on Pico at, uh, on the 8th. On, I can't think of the name of the club right now. It's Comedy Clown, no, Clown, the Clown Comedy Show yeah. or something like that there. And, and so, I, you know, I got to look it up. I, I smoke a lot of weed, so well, I don't, I, right. my memory's bad. So. That's but, all right. You know, I'm, I'm moving around. I'm doing things, you know. I'm well, doing things. Good. Well, they can always check out all the stuff you just Without mentioned on your social media. What's one of your best social media spots you like the people to go to? Well, you can find me on Facebook of uh, Stacy Taylor Sr., S-T-A-C-E-Y, or you can find me on Instagram at uh, Stacy uh, slash Comedian. That's right, that's right. You gotta love it at the A to Z Comedy Tour. Stacey Taylor about to tear the building down tonight. Get ready. Always watch the A to Z Comedy Tour and slap your mama on the way out the house just to let her know it's just right. If you don't want to slap, I'll slap her on the ass for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stacey Taylor, the A to Z Comedy Tour with Mr. C. Appreciate Thanks, you, Gary. Great. Appreciate you. Did y'all hear about the new sexual harassment? The latest victim of sexual harassment charge. Who was it? I ain't talking about Morgan Freeman. That's old shit. RuPaul! No. RuPaul said that motherfucker had got sexual harassed. Guess by who? Donald Trump! You've been reading the news. The son of a bitch said, I swear to God, RuPaul said, I come out the bathroom, right? And Donald Trump started kissing me, jumped on me and kissed me. Now that's that shit Trump do. I believe it. That's what he do. He grab him by the pussy, right? Well, he had something for your ass. Some bitch grabbed him by the pussy, didn't he? That's what you get, you son of a bitch. You know what RuPaul said? RuPaul said he was kissing me and he went up my skirt and he felt my member. <laughs> Some bitch felt his member. My name is Michael Gidmore, y'all. Follow me on Facebook. If you don't like me, kiss my ass. I'm gonna bring some of the comics up here to talk to you so you can just see what you, give you a little sneak preview. I need my girl Regina. Regina. I got my girl Regina after five. How you doing? How you doing? Hi, hi, hey you guys. A to Z, what's up? How did you come up with the name Regina after five? Well, when I first started performing comedy. I didn't want nobody to know my real name. So it just hit me right before when he when he asked me, what's your name? And I just said, after five. I don't know, it just popped in there. So it's been sticking with me since. And how long have you been doing comedy? Ooh, next month it be nine years. Congratulations. Do you find any competition being a female com comic as opposed to, you know, the males kind of dominate the comic world? Do you think it's changed a lot? No, I mean, it's still a male dominant and sometimes when I see shows and there's no females booked, you know, not on the flyer, I would say, hey, is this like a uh, all male uh, down low brother show or something? You know, we, you know the ladies got to have their word too, but as far as competition, I don't really look at it as competition. Um, you know, I just, you know, if somebody booked me, I'm there. So what can we expect from you tonight? Uh, well, you know, all my material is mostly for the ladies, but you know, the men get a kick out of it, but I try to speak for the ladies. You know, because some of these men be thinking women, you know, all in love and they got us on the upper hand, but sometimes we just don't want to hurt their ego, so we just be playing it off. You hear that, man? <laughs> this is what's going down tonight here at the A to Z Comedy. And your guy, Daryl, it's his birthday. You want to give him some love? Happy birthday, Daryl, and thanks for all your support. And how did you come to know Daryl? Uh, from the uh, auditions when he was doing underground uh, comedy for Punch TV. You heard it from Regina after five. And of course you love the Lord. Oh yes, without him uh, I'd be nothing. See, just keep the Lord in all your, what you do. Have some fun, we excited. Love you, I can't wait to hear you. This is my first time tonight. I love your dress. Thank you so much. She's a beautiful woman. Beautiful woman. Love you, sweetheart. Got the leopard going on. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. There you go. There you go. You heard it from Regina. After five, baby. That's how we do it here at A to Z Comedy, baby. My sister right there, Darlena. Darlena. Huh? Say hi, y'all. Say hi to my sister and hug it. Hi. How y'all doing? Louis Wade this shit. I'm gonna fuck with you tonight, goddamn Louis Wade. <laughs> Ain't nothing like being married though. I almost married somebody one time. I dated a girl for two years, I swear to God. Two years I dated a girl, right? I had a problem, yo. I had a problem, my brother. Her sister, my sister on the beat. She called me up on the phone and said, Dwight, look, come over to the house. I want to go with the wedding invitation with you. I'm like, shit, okay. <laughs> it's Big Lou, y'all. Big Lou, come on, y'all, come on. Anyway, my name is Big Lou. I am 6'5", 305 pounds. Six five. If you got a scale, I will step up. Alright, it's, it's all good though. I, I am I am 6'5, 305 motherfucking pounds. Now being 6'5, 305 motherfucking pounds, a lot of motherfuckers come up to me and like, hey big man, who'd you play for? How much you got? I say, huh? Who did I play for? I say, look, bro, I ain't I ain't play for nobody, I'm just a big guy. He said, man. Had I had you when I was in high school, I'd have went pro. I said, you trying to tell me I held up your motherfucking pro career? There wasn't no more big niggas at your school you could have ran behind. Let me tell you something. Had you ran behind me in high school, you wouldn't have went to Penn State. You'd have went to the state motherfucking Penn. I graduated from high school with a 5.0. Hold your applause. That was my blood alcohol level. to have any more big men in the house. Big men, you know, I ain't represent, we stay together. Any more big men? Do some of you motherfuckers realize I could see you? 
So y'all trying to say I'm not you know, okay, I tell you what. You might be confused, you might not know you fucking big. Let me help you out. If you ever had to put your foot on something to tie your motherfucking shoe, it's a sign that your ass just might be big. If it ever looked like you were finna start a motherfucking foot race to tie your shoe, and it looks something like this, your ass just might be big. It might be some more shit that you probably had never ever done, like me. If you have never ever ridden on the handlebars of a bicycle, your ass just might be big. If you ain't never sat and crossed your legs Indian motherfucking style, your ass just might be big. If you ever approach your motherfucking chair and you check that motherfucker for stability, <laughs> Your ass just might be big. Now this shit right here happened to me before. I was at Compton Court and I was going up to the top floor because you know the, the heart of the crime, the higher the floor. <laughs> so the elevator door opened. Everybody in the motherfucker shook their head like ain't no room for that man. <laughs> That's another sign that your ass is big. Have you ever sat in your chair? And you went to get up. And you had to make three motherfucking moves and neither one of them was up. <laughs> your ass just might be big. And you only start with a rock leg or a push. Big motherfucker, we don't never just get straight to fuck up. We sometimes we got to clear the runway to make sure the motherfucker ain't coming. And then when we get up, we end up talking to him like, oh Lord Jesus have mercy, thank you. It's just something about being big. So look, I didn't realize how fucking big I was until I got to high school. Now when I was in junior high, I mean in elementary school, we took our sixth grade picture. And I started showing it to people. And they say, oh man, y'all had two teachers? I said, nah, nigga, that was me over there with the two people. And we'll be back with the A to Z comedy tour. Famous 32nd. Moms Mabley, born March 19th, 1894. Moms Mabley was an American stand-up comedian. She came out as a lesbian at the age of 27, becoming one of the first openly gay comedians. Mabley was one of the most successful women doing stand-up in her day. She recorded more than 20 albums with comedy routines. She also appeared in movies, on television, and in clubs around the world. And we'll be back with the A to Z Comedy Tour. Are y'all ready for your host for the evening? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Illinois, our birthday boy, would y'all make it large for the producer of A to Z Comedy Tour. Ladies and gentlemen, get the clapping right now for Mr. Daryl Brand, y'all! Y'all ready to have a good time tonight? Yeah. I am here and I'm happy to see every one of you guys here. I am all the way from Rock, Illinois. It's my birthday and it's a blessing to see what God created for me. So give it up for me one more time. I want to just let you know, we really appreciate you coming all the way from Kansas City to support Dale Gregg, wonderful man. You're going to have some fun. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Elizabeth, I'm coming to join you, honey. Ain't that some, that, now that's my favorite. You know, that, that was comedy. You know how we do it here at A to Z Comedy, baby. We're back and I got two beautiful women with me. I'd like to introduce you to Catherine and Miss Rich. We feel blessed and just you are rich, rich in Christ. Yes. I love it. I feel the spirit. So you here tonight. Is there anybody in particular? Say happy birthday to Daryl and all everything, everybody. So you're um, here to be entertained tonight. Anyone in particular? Uh, um, Maybe Dexter, but I'm a special guest for Daryl. I want them to see this beautiful zipper. I mean, just look at this one. I love the braid down the middle. It's so cute. We are here at, where we at? A to Z Comedy with our friend who? Daryl Greg. We love you, Daryl. Happy birthday, baby. Well, check it out. I got Rodney Allen. 
with me in the middle. Clap your hands for Rock and with me. It's been a long time. There you go, Jack in the Box back in the day. All right, y'all, we gonna keep this thing like a joint. We gonna keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, y'all, we gonna keep this thing like a joint. We gonna keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. About to crack you up. Her name is T. Lily. I had the pleasure of working with this woman. Such a professional. I mean, she's funny but she's professional. She knows her craft. She's very seasoned. T. Lily in the house. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So, Praise the Lord. what you do? Well, i to be honest with you, I work for God. I'm an inspirational teacher. I'm a comedian. I'm a playwright. I'm an author. I'm a lip singer. I'm going to be lip singer tonight. And uh, most of all, I'm a child of God. I I'm so happy to be here tonight. I, I did a show last Sunday, and A to Z. Uh, Dow Greg was my MC, I uh, spared a moment. And when he seen me, he said, T. Lily, I know I don't have you on poster, but I really need you to do this for me. So I'm gonna be doing two things tonight. And the first one is lip sync. Lip sync, uh, giving him something he could feel by Aretha Franklin Sparkle. And then I'm gonna be doing um, Granny. And honey, let me tell you, she's going to go into a whole nother metamorphosis when she does do Granny. This is the A to Z Comedy Tour. Back now. to the show. I got to sit down. Wait a minute here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Put your seatbelt on, you finna go for a ride. Right. This next comedian is my headliner. This dude here started me when I was on Broadway, y'all. This dude gonna rock the world right here. Put your hands here, this nigga is like a boxer with comedy. So put your hands together right now. Beautiful man. Come on, clap your hands, come on, clap it up. No yeah. okay. All the way from Compton, California. You have seen this man on the hit show called Silent Secrets. He is the voice on the hit movie Deuces. Y'all put your hands together for comedian No McCain! LA, what up, y'all? And we'll be right back with more of the A to Z Comedy Tour. Coming soon on the A to Z Comedy Tour. Before the road trip. When well, Suge Knight started managing Cat Williams, what happened? They said when he come on stage, it was just like, it was magic. On the road. Now, now, let's stop right there. That's where we, that's where we go wrong at. Tony Rock, Chris Rock, Jordan Dude, you say? Mm -hmm. Hey, our brother. Because we were going to come up under Robin Harris, but he died. So, you may have seen me on Thicker Than Water. I played Koki, the love interest of MAC-10. Yes, I'm out here, I'm grinding, I'm auditioning. I'm waiting for my next big break, y'all. Maybe this will be it, right? I wanna be the next Kevin Hart. Why not? I'm short, just like him. I can do it, TNT. I, I bring a whole lot of dynamite to the stage. How about that? Hmm. Ah, That's so right. It's bad! Yeah. It's an involved father, love him to death, you know, he's the type of man, you know. Like I say, he was just, just so involved. Involved, that's good. Man. Yeah, he that's was a good father. He was, involved. man. He yeah. was involved with every woman on the block. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get back to the A to Z comedy tour. I'd like to believe that you from L.A. Compton, Inglewood, Watts, Long Beach. Put your hands up if you want No, you don't. You get up with Maria. Maria is down the street. She is not playing. Six o'clock in the morning. Just out there, just the money. <laughs> and that's not the half. She sent her husband by at seven when it's too late to go to work now. But you gotta get up and go anyway because you don't want to lose your job. But he not screaming. He on a bicycle, three wheels, riding around. Hunkin' a horn. <laughs> and he not selling tamales. He selling elotes, 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 elotes. Now go on out there and get me some corn. I put all that chili and hot sauce and paprika on there. I don't give a fuck. Mayonnaise and peanut butter. Put it all on there. <laughs> If you from Compton, California, then you know you ain't got to take your kids to the zoo. Cause Ray Ray got chickens down the street. Yes, he do. Timmy, they got pigeons. Jermaine got horses. Jorge got a llama and three goats. And there's snakes all around. If you from Compton, California, then you already know. Don't nobody party in Compton, California better than the Spanish people. Nobody. And they don't need no whole lot of songs. They don't need no Cardi B. They don't need no Drake. They don't need none of that. 
They got the same song. Even in 2018, it's still the same song. Just don't stop, 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 Boy, that music shake all your damn windows. Knock your mirrors off the wall. Grandma picture and fell over. But you don't give a fuck, cause you go out there right with him. Just don't stop, 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 stop. I'm going to hell, you going to. I'm just trying to tell you. But don't get the game messed up. I love Mexicans. Them is my people. Because you can't count on them niggas to do no other shit but what they do. But the Mexicans, they come over, cut your grass, mow your whole lawn. You ain't even paid them to mow the backyard, but they did it anyway. They even fixed the light and the fixture in the front of your house. They done walked the dog for your ass. They done took the cans out, moved the bottles, fixed your car. You had a leak, but he filled it up for you. You understand what I'm saying? My friend, I did everything else. Okay, okay, $40. <laughs> if you count on the nigga, he ain't gonna cut your grass right away. That nigga gonna take a chicken break. His baby mama gonna call him, he got to go handle that. Child support trying to get him. That nigga got warrants. Here come the police, nigga be still. Be still. Be still. He's stressed out, so he got to take a smoke break. This nigga gonna be there all goddamn day long. What is your plan to rob me, nigga? No, get the fuck out of here. Ask a nigga to change your tire, he wanna charge you $40. Yeah. Call the Mexican, he pull up right, at, right up on you. 13 o'clock in the morning, he don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's right. Got a broken window, call the Mexican. He gonna put that blue tape on it, you gonna be good, don't worry about it. The Mexican's gonna super glue your shit, you gonna be back at the place again next, the next day. <laughs> trying to tell you. I'm just trying to tell you. I love him. I'm the voice of my family. I can't stand their ass. My sister just don't want to get it right. You know you got a problem. You women is crazy. Y'all know y'all crazy. Don't be trying to blame the man. The man made me like this. The man got me on this. The man, no, you already been crazy. Anytime you go to the baseball park and you holler, pick a pig feet corner. Bitch, you got Tourette's syndrome. Cut it out. <laughs> my sister getting on my nerves. I love my niece and my nephew. But my sister get on my nerves. I call myself going over my sister's house. I'm gonna spend the night, cause I'm in town to do a show. I didn't know my sister had, had it popping the way she had it popping. I mean, it was niggas everywhere coming in and out. I thought she was a drug dealer. And then I said, well, ain't nobody getting high. What's going on? I said, I hope they ain't fucking my sister and leaving. So I get my ass up and I go in the living room. And this is y'all understand by my sister. She a paraplegic, she can't walk. Yeah! And they in the middle of the damn flow. Fucking like a motherfucker. Well, he was fucking her, she was just doing this. <laughs> her legs was just dangling all over the place. Yeah. I said, ah, oh, now. Then he said, get on top, she got on top. And she was just. <laughs> Y'all, that's our show for tonight. Keep following the AZ Comedy Show. Ain't my goddamn fault. The owner right here. But follow us, man. AZ Comedy Tour, man. We're in your city, we're in your place, we're in your town. Don't be shy. I'm Nee Bev. I'm the comedian host tonight. Daryl Greg, the director right here. Give it up. Hey, hey, did y'all enjoy that show? It was good, right? I loved it. I think everybody did a great job. We really thank you guys for coming out, supporting the A to Z Comedy Tour. Thanks for watching the show. Before you go, one more scene from the A to Z Comedy Tour reality show. So I'm sitting in a room and I'm trying to make the show happen because now I got to get on the phone. I got to call everybody to make sure the show is delivered. I just it's, it's big. Tomorrow I gotta go to the LA School of Comedy, put on flyers all over the place. So that's what I'm working on now. My promotion game has gotta go to a next level. I have, but they haven't responded yet. I mean, I told people about it, yes. 
Okay, we got we got to push the envelope on this because we had we had uh, at the last moments of this here. So I mean, I got tickets too. So if you want to sell some tickets, I'm gonna be out putting out flyers tomorrow, and we're just gonna make this happen. Push hard. I'm going to push hard and tell everybody I know. Okay, okay. I'll push harder. Okay, I'll do that for you. Okay, well, let's make it happen, man. I'm going to get with you tomorrow. Maybe we can get out and put out some flyers. I got to go to the L.A. School of Comedy tomorrow, and I got to go talk to Sunda and see if she'll let me put some flyers in her window. So I had to come over here today because I'm trying to promote my show. So where I go to, LA School of Comedy. I'm trying to come over here because I need to put my signs up in the window. She's got the best view. Everybody will see my signs, so that's why I'm here. Hey, what's up, Sunday? How you doing? I'm doing, I'm working. What do you hey, think? Hey, I, just, I got a big favor I need to ask you. you know? Oh okay. my God, I can't believe this. Sarah, what do you want today? And I, you know I love you madly, but it's always something. Listen, I know you're a busy lady, but I got a big show coming up. March 25th, it's my birthday. I mean, can I put a sign in your window? You know how I do it, baby. I'm trying to get it in. I want to put a sign in the window. It's always something. Yeah, put a sign in my window here in Beverly Hills. You know what? Yeah, if you wear a wig. I mean, I love Daryl. He's always talking about doing a reality show about stand-up comedians. Reality is, I don't want to do anything. But that's it, love him dearly. But yeah, you want to use my window? Wear a wig, reality show. Stand-up comics, crazy. I ain't wearing no damn wig. So guess what? I'm out here putting up signs, and guess what happened? I got the damn wig on. Man, I gotta do all this stuff to get signs on the button. Let me tell you something. You better finish them off, because I gotta go in. Come on, man. Give me this here. This is crazy. But guess what? Uh -uh. I'm taking this damn wig off. I told you you'd wear a wig. That's what I gotta do. I gotta go. And that is our show. Thanks for watching the A to Z Comedy Tour. A to Z.